Hi friends, welcome to CSCpedia. In the previous class, we discussed about phases of a compiler, right? So, what are the different phases of a compiler and how all these phases and how your source program is converted to target program. So, that's what we discussed in the previous class. So, today, we are going to discuss about types of compiler. So, total how many types of compilers do we have? In that, first we'll discuss about incremental compiler. So, incremental compiler is a compiler which compiles only the modified source program rather than compiling the entire source program. For example, if you are modifying any source program, incremental compiler will compile only that source program. It doesn't compile the entire source program. So, that is what incremental compiler is. So, um, let us discuss some basic features of incremental compiler. So, what are the basic features of incremental compiler? So, the features of incremental compiler are the first one, it tracks the dependencies between the output and the source program. So, what we said, um, incremental compiler is a compiler. Instead of uh, recompiling the entire source program, it compiles only the modified source program. So, um, with uh, keeping that in mind, it tracks the dependency between the output and the source program. And the incremental compiler produces the same result as full recompile. Why? Because we are not recompiling the entire source code, we are just compiling only the modified source program. But you can expect the same result. So, produce the same result as a full recompile. The last one, it is very effective for maintenance. Why? Because we are not touching the entire source program, we are only checking the part which is to be modified and we are executing that. And it produces the same result as well. And it is very effective for maintenance. So, this is one sort of a compiler which is an incremental compiler. The next, the most important one is the cross compiler. We'll see what it is. It. So, in cross compiler, we have three major things. One is source language, target language, implementation language. So the first one is source language, I call it as S and second one is target language, I call it as T and third one is implementation language, I call it as I. So your typical cross compiler looks like this. So here S stands for source language, T stands for target language and I stands for implementation language. So a cross compiler is combining any two compilers, we will get a new a product or new result. So we will see how it happens. So here I have source language as X, target language as Y, implementation language as Z and the next one I have source language as X, target language as Y and implementation language is Y. So the, well, the final resultant will be here X, X is same, Y, Y is same. Here this implementation language Z becomes 
सोर्स here the implementation language z becomes source and here the implementation language a becomes target and whatever be the target uh, target language that the same target language becomes our implementation language a and the final resultant is z a a a cross compile exactly means is it runs on one machine that means the source will be run on one machine and the target resultant will be present on another machine so that's what exactly happened here so now in one machine uh, it contains x as a source language y as a target language and z as an implementation language and in another machine i have x as a source language y as a target language and a as an implementation language now my final resultant will be z as a source language a as a target language and a as a target language so this is a cross compiler so these are the different types of compilers so i hope you understood the, the types of compilers so if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel please share all my videos to your friends and well wishers and please subscribe to my channel thank you thank you very much